Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. We learn about electric current in the previous video. In a conductor, there are large number of free electrons are present. These free electrons are the charge carriers in them. And they are found to be moving in a random direction. That is why when I connect up two wires which are a good conductor of electric current, even by making the, the circuit, the LED do not glow, though the electrons flow through them. Here, the motion of electron in the circuit is in random direction. This random movement of electrons do not constitute electric current. To constitute or to produce electric current in the circuit, we need to make these electrons to flow in a particular direction, which is achieved with the help of a cell or a battery. When the two ends are connected to a cell or battery, there will be a difference in the potential between the two ends that make the electron to move in a particular direction. But I'll show you. Here I have two cells connected in series. So I can, can call this one as battery. I connect the yellow terminal to the positive end of the battery and a blue wire to the negative end of the battery. When I connect that, you can observe the LED glow. It is due to the flow of current through this LED. As I told you earlier, there are free electrons. These electrons have negative charge. Let us consider this one as a, a free electron present in a conductor. Now, I connect a cell or battery between the ends of the conductor. That means the conductor is a electric field. And I say that the electric field is acting in this direction. Then free electrons will move in the opposite direction to that of electric field. When they move, they collide with the positive ions present in the conductor. Here, electric field accelerates these free electrons. Here, here is the acceleration. And the positive ions scatter these electrons. So they move in this way randomly, but in a particular direction, opposite to that of electric field. It constitutes electric current in the conductor. When they get scattered, by the positive ion, their uh, velocity decreases. This reduction in the velocity of free electrons while moving towards the positive terminal is known as drift velocity. Denoted by letter Vd. It is a vector quantity. So we use it. We use a hero head. This is the word drift velocity. In this video, we will discuss drift velocity in detail. Let's go ahead. Um, in the length physics, we have learned that the motion of any object requires a force. 
the expression of for, uh, for force is given by Newton's second law. That says that F equals to M A. It is Newton's second law. Then second law of motion. This force drives any object. Whereas in our case, we have electric force to make this free electrons to move towards the positive terminal. So, the electric force I denote this one with the same letter here. According to first chapter in 12th physics, electric force F is the product of electric field E and the charge Q. In our case, the moving object is nothing but free electron. And the electrons have charge E. So I replace the Q with the E. Instead of E, Q, I write E is small e. This is a, the expression for electric force. So in both the cases, I am going to mention this arrow ahead. That shows that it is a vector quantity. The same thing here as well is a vector quantity. Now I am going to use uh, equation number two in one. So I use uh, equation number two in one. So what I'll get? I'll get this. E vector into small e equals to m a vector. Then a is acceleration and m is the mass of free electrons under motion. Now, we know. What do we know? We know that acceleration is a rate of change of velocity. Rate of change of velocity. But here I make a, a small change to this expression. In our case, velocity is drift velocity, drift letter VD, and a T is replaced with a tau. A tau is the mean free time. What is this mean free time? Mean free time is nothing but the time taken by a free electron between two successive collision. Stop. Here acceleration is vector quantity. Drift velocity is also a vector quantity. I am going to use this here. Here. So I will get this expression E into small e m as such and the place of a vector I write this as a different color vd vector upon Tau. My aim is to find the value of Vd. So I keep all, I will keep this term one side and remain terms are taken to another side. For better understanding, I write this expression as such here. Yeah. Tau. Vd vector. Now I keep Vd vector here and these terms are taken to that side. So what will happen? E vector small e. The tau is dividing here. When it is taken to the other side of the equation, it will multiply. And uh, m which is in product will divide take when taken to the another side something like this now I rearrange this equation 
I write it like this. E tau upon m into E vector is equal to Vd vector. Here, this part is the nothing but mu. Here mu is mobility. So I write this equation as like this. Mu E vector equals to Vd vector. I told you here mu is nothing but mobility. What is mobility? I will tell you. So, in the next case can be written as Vd vector upon E vector. Now, this can also be written this way mu equals to modulus of Vd vector upon modulus of E vector. Here, when we take the modulus of any vector quantity, it means or it gives the magnitude of that particular vector quantity. So, mobility can be defined as the ratio of the magnitude of dead velocity and that of electric field. Or in simple words, dead velocity occurred per unit electric field is referred as mobility. Mobility has come from the word mobile. That means under motion. I hope uh, this video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put a question in the comment section. Thanks for watching.